Hey, do you need wallpaper? Go to wallpaperboulevard.com. Give them my name, tell them Spencer Colgan sent you, and they'll be sure to give you 10% off at checkout. Check it out, tell them I said hello. They have a tremendous selection. Don't shop anywhere else until you've checked out www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Okay, this Vahalan product can make your trim line very tricky to achieve a crisp straight line simply because of the ropes here they make it hard to get in there to trim so if we're a wallpaper hanger we're also painters right and so to make this look we we, we can make that look better right let's do that watch this okay with a steady hand shed the excess paint from your brush don't breathe too much don't go too slow and you can achieve a really nice straight line note that I'm only using the tip of the brush look at the right side of my brush over here watch this you see the perfection there Here's what happens if you, if you think too much about it. You get up there, and what do you do? You get it on the wall. And guess what? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to go up there with confidence. You go up there like this. You get the excess off of the brush. You get a feel for it, okay? You get your position, your bodily position, and you drag that brush, keeping your eyes on the filaments, not on the camera, not on your texting, nothing. Look at that. And don't try to build Rome in one day. If you gotta do it three times, do it three times. Okay? Because we want to render perfection, right? I mean, we're not perfect, right? But we can always make it look better. Now, I've got my, got my index finger on the barrel. That metal part is the barrel. I'm directing this brush. It's not telling me where to go. Notice I don't, I'm not using the whole brush. I'm just using the forward edge. That's how you do it, folks. Okay. That's how you do it. Wow, look at that, I'm pushing the paint in there. I want that straight, it's not straight yet. Oh, yes. Wow, what do you think? Okay, let's get it in there. Oh yeah, we're gonna change directions. Why not? Spencer, are you putting paint on the wallpaper? Yes! I am. Okay, if you look really closely, you'll see that the woodwork, where it meets the wall, has what I refer to as a valley. A lot of customers don't realize that until I explain it to them. And I say, your trim is so thick that it doesn't yield, and I use that language, it doesn't yield to the contour of your wall as well as you would like it. And therefore, therefore I say, what happens is, you wind up with a valley because the wood, the strength of the wood is is resisting 
bending. And so, in some areas you'll see it seated beautifully up against the wall, but then in other areas you'll say, hey, what's going on? And that's when you get a valley. When the wood says, hey, I can't fit into this area. I'm going to, I'm going to stick out an eighth of an inch. I can't do this. And so the painter comes along. Now I'm not the painter here. And he caulks the gap. And what he does is create a valley between the trim and the wall. The wall. My wife says wall. When I say wall, she says wall. So I gotta listen to her imitating me. Wall. Yeah, wall. Okay. Okay. So you wind up with a gap. Now, the gap is the wallpaper hanger's enemy. You see, I'm not doing it all in one stroke. If you try to do that, listen, all of you can do this. But when you try to do it in one swoop, that's where you mess up and you get paint on the wall or the wallpaper. Okay, so the gap says there's a space between the wallpaper, I'm sorry, the trim and the wall. And so when you have a, uh, a woven material, to get that material into that valley, which is uneven, the valley is uneven, and Woven material does not like bending around all of that. It doesn't like it. So you'll see the woven material just sits in there and it gets trapped in the valley. So one sheet will be, wow, very nice. The next sheet, the valley's different because the pressure of the guy doing the caulk he lets up a little, or presses a little harder. And if you look at it under a microscope, you have a wavy up and down application of caulk, right? And what happens is that becomes the surface against which your wall covering will rest. And if it is wavy, a material such as... Um, string or some thin, some thin fiber grass cloth will sit in those valleys and, they, and you'll have individual panel depths. And so on one 36 inch panel, it'll go down into the valley. On the other one, it'll be up. Do you understand what I mean? This valley, this space where wall meets trim plays, wreaks havoc on the human eye. It makes it look really bad. And I told one customer recently, in the beginning of 2022, she was a designer. Forgive me, designers. A lot of them know nothing about wallpaper. Nothing. They, like sometimes in a small bathroom, a designer will order a 54-inch product. In a bathroom, no larger than a telephone booth of the 1980s. Uh, I want you to hang this. It's 54 inch. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. The bathroom is 60 inches. And so I told her, I said, hey, listen, just so you know, this woven material, it, you, you have a hundred year old house. Your house has old house charm. It's wavy. Your trim is brand new against plaster and lath balls. 
And it's suffering. It's suffering. You're not going to make it go into this valley here. She got on, she sat down next to me. I was shocked. She's like, where's this valley? I said, are you, are you serious? She said, oh, I'm dead serious. I said, no, no, seriously. Are you serious about this? She said, I'm as serious as a heart attack. Where's the valley? I said, okay, get closer, get closer. She said, this space here? I said, yeah, that space. I said, you see, it's not even. I said, it's not even. How would you like me to trim your material against an uneven surface? What am I going to cut against? Forget it, she says. Forget it. Like that. Forget it. I said, do you need a timeout? Are you okay? Are you going to be okay? I'm okay. Get out of here. I guess she told the homeowner.